Surprise! It's another video making song ringer. But you didn't think of that was gonna happen. Ha! <laughs> Today I'm rearranging the location of a couple items um, because the update is gonna be coming out soon on Steam and uh, it's actually gonna be split now into two different updates. So this parry attack and the uh, this charge attack, which are pretty much the most important pieces of this whole thing kind of changes the whole play of when you play Songbringer with the charged attack it really gives you two options for using your sword which makes all of the sword and pretty much the whole game a lot more interesting because you've got that choice do I want to just swing the sword normally or do I want to charge it up and release a big attack um, it just adds that variety and uh, spice to the game so that's coming out soon and then the rest of the stuff with the new boss and the new arena and all that and some other some of the items are going to be coming out in a later update so um so that people can just play the the charge attack and that kind of stuff right now um so i'm rearranging a couple items uh one of them is the uh parry item is going to be instead of gaining it from beating that boss in the arena you're actually going to get the parry instead of the ally speed improvement so Fairy drones, fairy drones. Let's start with that. Fairy drones and the shirt. Um, the fairy drones. I think that's actually just a data change. This would be great. In the code, they're called the secret finder. Okay, I already kept those in. Why did I? Anyways, okay, let's get rid of that. Shirt. The shirt, however, take off that. Okay, now we should be able to get the shirt. Okay, so I just have to die three times and make sure we get the shirt. Good. Man, we're running slow today. This has been happening lately. Colonel task again. Freaking back plays. Ah.
so let's double check that. Making the window smaller will help. Hello, XYE, how you doing? How's your day going? Okay, so now we can just verify that this, still get it, still get the shirt. Good. Playing with the fake app. A fake app. What, what, what's a fake app? What kind of fake app? Alright, good. We can still get the shirt. That's easy enough. Oh, you can swap anyone's face. Oh, that kind of thing. Cool. That sounds really fun. Did the shirt. Now we gotta do the parry. So the parry is gonna be part. You swap the parry for. Um, okay, so first of all, the parry is not gonna be rewarded um, for beating Ren. Is that a story element? It is. Oh, this kind of changes a few things. Because the parry was was something that it... Oh. How are we going to do that? Alex, what's up, man? Fellas, EO. You changed your name. So there's a few different items. Oh, this was all like predicated on. Maybe I need to do like a fake item then. <laughs> In human time. <laughs> How are you doing today? Okay, let's start with the basics. So instead of item parry, this is going to be spawn any item NPC 99, diamond 5. So it just spawns a whole bunch of diamonds instead of giving you the parry ability. What else are we going to need to change here though? Well, oh, this is... Pfft. 
I think we need to do a fake item. There's really no other way to check that. Okay, well I'm gonna create a I'm gonna create a fake item. Um, it's kind of like um, Flask Quest. Shopper, kind of like this. Okay, so we'll call this K item Arena Complete. Get that compiler. So if you're just joining the stream, what I'm working on is rearranging a few of the item locations. The parry ability is now going to be part of the next update. Um, so there's basically going to be two updates. And this first update is going to have the charge attack, the parry ability. And the parry ability is going to replace the friend speed booster. Because the friend speed booster used to be an item you got from beating a boss. It was kind of a letdown because the friend speed booster is not that cool. You know, it's like, great, Jib can move faster, Vel can move faster, but it's really not that useful. Um, but the parry ability is quite useful, and the parry ability can help you fight um, the bosses that come after that. So it's a good idea to move that whole... Um, parry ability to getting it from beating a boss instead of instead of beating the brand new boss which is in the arena which you're probably not going to do until the end of the game because that takes a lot of um, a lot of power to be able to beat that that new boss Okay, let me see how item shopper was used. So you get it for shopping once, I believe. Right, okay, and then We just test it at the end. So there's really no, it's not going to show up in the inventory because it's not a passive item. It's not an, uh, an equipable item either. So good, we should be good there. Now, okay, so now um, instead of checking quantity parry, we want to check quantity arena complete. At the item arena complete. And let's hope that it doesn't trigger the item flux. It might, though. We might have to change that. Um, and here we want to check arena complete as well. And let's see any other usage of parry. Okay, not found in story, but there probably are some other areas. Jeez, it's still compiling. My computer's going so slow today. I feel like I need a new computer. What the heck is that one? Oh, that's the sword. Right, right, right. Oh, this is totally one of them. So this is checking. Um, this is the new Easter egg. 
for the sword cave. This is a good way to do this, adding a special hidden item because it makes all this other code just really easy to change over. Ren Meditator, right, so Ren is not meditating anymore at this one spot if you've completed the arena. Oh, this is also the sword cave. This, I believe, is this is using the parry. So that one is definitely the added parry. Uh, no, I have not played Fault Line. To tell you the truth, I don't even know what Fault Line looks like. Is it 3D? Oh, it's not 3D. Cool. How is it? This actually looks like a game I would play. All right, that's where we're charging the sword. Here's where we're using the sword. Ah, this is not, I don't want to set this. So item parry is going to be one of the boss items which will naturally get set without us having to set this custom, but we'll need to check that. Yeah, look at, cool. I was kind of gathering that from those screenshots where it was kind of like looking like it was warping the screen a bit. So what does it what does it do when you warp space? Like what is, does it allow you like jump through walls or what? And how fun is the game? Okay, now to test all this, start out in this cave. And um, we. Let's have the parry ability. Ah, okay, so you can move by warping space. I see. How do you like it?
not trigger that item flux. And it is giving me all these diamonds. Give me the diamonds! Does it still give me diamonds? No, it does if you go off the screen. Okay, so I'm going to save my progress here. We should have, yeah, good. Now we have the arena complete item. Okay, now if I start again at zero, it should have all of the uh, things. <laughs> all the things. Okay, first of all, Ren should not be meditating in this room. Okay, good. He's gone. Um, now, if we go... I guess we can beat this again, but it's not going to be any different. Oh, I can pay attention to the story element that runs. So, so we should get story element... Um, Story ship zero ship four. And victory nine. Cool. Okay, that's all. Let's check the other items now. Um, one thing, it should have already logged where the parry, oh, the parry ability needs to move. Let's move the parry, oh, we're already in world. Okay, um, friend booster chips. I think it's called jib speed. Yeah, okay, secondary goal item. This should now be parry. Um, and the jib speed should replace the one extra bio detector that's required. Okay, so constants, we need to unrequire this one bio detector, which is a compass. So there's this one counts, which is compass eight. Oh, that already didn't count. Compass nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Already do not count. Okay, so that was... Compass 8. Yeah, see, that's not that's not even used. Okay, so it's got to be compass nine. Okay, 
Okay, so Compass 9 is now not even in the game. But it wasn't required anyways for 100% items. That was fixed quite a while ago. Wait, temp items? That was a secret item? Oh, wait a minute. Oh. That actually... Is it Compass Zero? No, Compass Zero is the first one you get. What? What is the item? Which compass is in a store? Thirteen. And eleven. And twelve. None of those were required. Okay, 13 now is going to get replaced with jib speed. anything here but I think it's safe actually to put compass 13 no no it's not actually safe this could change some worlds I'm commenting that one out but I'm leaving it here in the code just to show myself that compass 13 is currently unused doesn't really matter you already got so many compasses in this game and besides adding that would change some worlds so, let's check maps too. Right, maps 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 are also not used. Or not, they don't count. Okay, so we're good here. We basically moved Perry to replace Jib's speed item. And then. Jib speed item is in a store. And the compass, which already didn't count for 100%, is now not in the game. Let's confirm this via code. World store items instead of compass is jib speed. Right. 13 is not used. Secondary goal items instead of jib speed is parry. So you don't need to set a specific location for Perry. Good. Okay, let's confirm all this experientially. Um, first of all, let's go not have the Perry ability. And we need to go where it's going to be, which is... Let's find out where it's actually at. I think you get it from the fire dungeon in this world. Not sure. Eight three seven. Yeah, it was the fire dungeon. All right. 837. Oh no, it's gonna be nine. No, yeah, 837. Okay. So we're gonna parry. We're gonna get it from beating the fire boss now. This is gonna be way cooler. So instead of instead of like one of the items being sort of disappointing from beating a boss, it's now gonna be pretty exciting because you get the parry ability. So 
Sweet. Let's try that out. Nice. Cool. And if I didn't have the parry, just make sure running into enemies hurts. Cool. All right. Um, okay, so I don't have parry. Wait, let's set parry now. Now first, okay, first let's go confirm jib speed item. Is it Z negative three? Oh, it's gonna need to have a price. Oh, do I already have it? I do. I think this item should be kind of rather cheap. I think it's only 90, cool. I think it should be less than 90. Because the jib shield item is way more powerful and it is already 90. So Jib's speed should be like maybe 60. better. Ow. I gotta confirm that hold on, does parry count? Parry should probably count. No, since it's a boss item, yeah. Okay, so we don't have jib speed. We let's not have the parry either. And now let's skip to the ending so we can tally items and make sure that um, it is indeed able to locate the parry item, locate the um, jib speed item. Here we go, unattained item, jib speed. Cool. At zero, zero, negative three, it's got its location even, great. Unattained item, parry, at eight, three, seven, very good. I kinda expected those to work. 
Let's um, see what happens when we have them. of items. Oh yeah, it should have got two items, so that's should definitely add to the percentage there. Parry attained. Cool. And jib speed should also be attained. Great. Okay. We confirm that. Um arena complete. Let's confirm the other stuff. Like um negative one we should since the arena is complete we should have the Easter egg. Good. Easter egg confirmed. And let's do arena complete again. Turn off, I mean. Cool. Back to how that was. Okay. What else is there to check? Let's do a code review. I checked and made sure this Ren victory worked as intended. It checks now for the first victory, it checks for arena complete equals zero. It gives you arena complete and then gives you a bunch of diamonds. Um, the Ren victory nine now, instead of checking parry, it checks arena complete. And that is now confirmed code wise and experientially. Okay, now we've got, this is the, um, oh, oh, this is where you walk around, oh. That I never really confirmed. So if we have arena complete, I should be able to walk to the left of this statue. here. Cool. I can walk there. And then we complete zero. Should not be able to walk over there. Good. Okay. Continue the code review. That works. Area creation. This is um, right. We can we confirm that Ren is no longer there. If you have arena complete, in fact, we can just let's double check that. If we are at that position. Right, we have Ren. Oh, but we already have his story element. Meet Ren.
This is weird. Why isn't this dialogue triggering? Oh, it does. I just have this one setting to skip all dialogue on. Continuing the code review, oh, I guess, well, let's turn off. This should disable Ran, he shouldn't be there anymore. I think I already checked that. Cool. All right, what's this one? Sword, okay, yeah, we checked that. Parry ability now counts. Jib speed item is a little cheaper. We've got this new item called Arena Complete, which is a hidden item you never see. Oh, I should check that it's not in my inventory. Added it as an item. We don't need to set a special location for parry. Parry replaces jib speed. Jib speed replaces the compass. Compass is no longer existing. I do believe that is all. Right? Parry is in there. It replaces the ally speed. Ally speed replaces that. Yep. We're good. Cool. That was a a lot of rearrangement there that had to go on, but um, that's complete. So basically, this is Perry. Go. All right. Okay, I've got a couple minutes left in the stream. Yep. I'm going to start this new thing here where there's going to be a brightness gamma setting. Um, some consoles, especially you play it on, seem to have a brightness issue. Um, and then some. it's a good idea for players even on Steam to have a brightness or a gamma setting. So let's do that. So brightness is going to be kind of like volume.
And I think we need to change the height per So this is going to fit in the screen. Hopefully this still looks okay on Windows. I'll have to check that later. Alright, menu settings create a string for it. Give me a flow setting, just call it brightness. And we'll need to change um, some kind of render setting. Probably be like render. We need to create this function, but it'll be called like render system. Set brightness. Let's comment that out for now. Uh, I think that's all. Cool. Let's set the brightness up a bit. And cool. Let's set some brightness for us. Awesome. That's already working. So the next thing would be to hook it up into the shader.
So to get all this hooked up into the shader, we need the render system. that compiling. And dang, with that, I kind of got to get going. But um, let me just show how I'm probably going to implement this. It's going to be on the, oh, what's that shader called? combine. So let's open up combine frag. Combine has a lot of stuff to it. This is where it basically goes and does its blooming and its blurring and applying its final levels mix. Levels input range. So that's what we'll do. We'll probably do it right here in this levels input range uh, thing 
Right, levels input. We want to do like a levels, if we want to boost the overall brightness, we probably want to change the gamma setting, which is the middle point, which is going to require a little bit more math here in the shader. But I'll play around with that. So basically there'll be there'll be a uniform coming in here. Uniform float bright brightness. And then that'll get set and then applied here. A really simple way to do this would be like frag color to RGB times equals brightness. And that might look really weird. It's probably not going to be the right kind of thing, especially like brightness 10 times equal. No, this would be times equals 1.0 plus something times brightness. And let's let's just do this real quick. You set a uh, set uniform vec. Set uniform float. Okay, that's kind of probably messed something up in there. Wild. Okay, maybe I didn't. It's running. Okay. Does this actually work? Doesn't look like it's changing anything. We go all the way to brightness 10. Oh wait, it is brighter. Oh. But, oh, maybe it's just not changing when you change it. Maybe it is. Oh, it definitely is. Oh, dude. Wow, that actually works. <laughs> hey, something worked on the first try? What? So if we make it really obvious, we can go 1.0. I know this is not probably not the right way to ap apply brightness. I think you've got to add in a power F and like stuff like that. It's like it's really gonna maybe I don't know maybe this is acceptable. This is amping up every single color though, which yeah, I don't know. maybe it works this way. I don't know why the brightness doesn't seem to be changing when we're. Oh yeah, that's way brighter. 
See, it's not really affecting the shadows as much. Or is it? Shoot, I don't know. Well, anyways, there you have it. So that's how this is, that code's going to work. I'll tweak that and make that all perfect later. So i got to get going. Um, so thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And uh, catch you on the next video.